it's time to dish with D. That's me. I've been tagged again for the Tuesday tag by Kim and a girl on her phone. Thanks, Kim, for tagging me. And I'm going, I have the questions right here on my tablet and I will read them and I will answer them. So let's get started, shall we? I haven't read them yet, so this ought to be interesting. When is your birthday? Well, that's an easy one. My birthday was August is was I'm dead my birthday is august 11th i was born in the year 1966. that makes me 53 i believe i'll be 54 this year i think i always just count so yeah I've, i love having a summer birthday it was always my favorite thing when was the last time you wrote a letter to someone on paper and mailed it um probably i wrote back to a subscriber because she only does mail. That's probably, I don't really do much paper and pen writing. So that would probably be the last um, time. So if anybody wants to be a pen pal and you don't do email, you hit me up, you got my address. What did you eat for breakfast this morning? <gasps> That's a good one. I had hungry girls matcha tea overnight oats. I know it sounds weird, matcha green tea and overnight oats, but it works. You put a teaspoon of matcha powder in your overnight oats. It's insanely delicious. That's the dog scrapping at his Easter basket. Who was the next band artist you will listen, you will see perform live? I don't like going to concerts because I don't like crowds. Um, and I, I've been wanting to see Barbara Streisand. She's on my bucket list. Um, but I don't have any plans in the future to go see anybody. What was the last song you listened to? Um, probably Bruno Mars. I do a lot of Bruno Mars, so it's probably him. If you could be fluent in any other language, which would you choose? Italian, because I am Italian and, and we didn't speak it growing up. My, my dad did, and I kind of in hindsight wish he had taught me. But when he, um, he was born here in the United States, his parents were not. So at around the house, all they spoke was Italian. So he grew up not speaking English till he was probably went to school when he was six. So he, I wish I'd learned Italian from him. Does anything on your body hurt right now? No. Oh yes. I'm, I have a, an issue with the toenail. It doesn't hurt, not particularly, but when I wear a certain shoe that's tighter in the toe, it irritates it. So yeah, that doesn't, but I said it's not that bad. This is, what is your favorite sports team? Um, growing up in Philadelphia, I am a Philly girl through and through. So I was always a big Phillies. My dad worked for the Philadelphia Phillies for over 25 years. So I grew up with the Phillies. I mean, that was my dad's thing and that's the way it was in my house. And we would go to a lot of Phillies games. He let us in because he would work in the ticket taker thing and he was an usher for a while. So yeah, probably the Philadelphia Phillies. Um, I'm not a big football person, but I used to love the Pittsburgh Steelers. And my questions just went off. Uh, I was a big Pittsburgh Steeler fan. Loved my Terry Bradshaw, my Lynn Swan, my John Stallworth days. That was back in the 80s. Um, I'm not big basketball or hockey, but usually definitely a Phillies girl. How often do you watch the news? Um, I used to, when this thing was going on, I was watching it day to the day and I got to the point where it was just too much. So usually I watch the, the 11 o'clock news, usually. Do you wear glasses? Only to read. I don't really need them for other than like distance sometimes, but it's basically for close up. I have a cataract starting. So this is actually, it's actually been, you know, this has actually been helping, but yeah, it's not quite ripe yet. So yeah, I feel cataract at 53. I mean. Yeah, so I think that's it. Let me be sure I didn't, you know. I don't, I guess. That was quick and easy. That's why it's called the quick and easy tag. So I wanna thank Tracy from Trials of a Long Haired Girl. This is her little baby that she's come up with. And I think it's kind of fun because it teaches you a little bit about your favorite YouTube person and different things. So I am going to tag my girl D at Skinny Jeans for a Lifetime. And I'm gonna tag Susie from Susie Bowie. She does Weight Watchers as well. And should I tag anybody else? A lot of people get tagged, so it's kind of hard. Um, I don't think Salty likes to do these, so I won't tag him. Um, 
but I don't want to take two weeks. Two, two is good. So we're going to go with D at Skinny Jeans and Susie. So thank you for joining me. If you did enjoy this tag, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed, please hit the subscribe button and hit that notification bell. Let's like, you know just should be upload. Have a great day and tag now, girls. You're it. I'll see you in the next Tag Tuesday.